down and it started to melt away. The muscle is melting away, the fatty tissues are melting away. What you really want, what you really need, is an increase in blood flow. You, would, you want to increase the muscle tone. You need to give these muscles an exercise. That's why we say you should laugh a lot. You want to exercise muscles. More blood flow, more exercise, more, more matrix, then your skin will cover or sit on. And you'll get rid of more hand wrinkles because you want to have more wrinkles. Nice and tall. Okay, next one. So basically, what we want to do is we want to exercise these muscles over here. See around your eyes, around your lips. Certain muscles hold up your facial features. Some will hold your lips up. Once you know where these muscles are, then you can use these devices to stimulate the muscle to be able to have that tugging effect. Next one. We'll see also on the side view. If you look at it, we were talking about uh, uh, elastic tissue. You see, all of the white tissue in your body is basically elastic tissue. If I stimulate this part here, then I am tightening up the muscles down below. So everything is going to get taut. The same idea with the muscles in your legs, the rectus abdominis muscles, the same idea. Next. So unless you have a very pretty skull, you need lots of subcutaneous matrix, right? <laughs> Next. Now, I came up with a word to describe what we call lines and marks that appear on your face. When you're going through a process, when you are feeling unwell, these marks and features on your face we call systemic, or I call systemic physiognomy. Physiognomy is the art of face reading. So systemic, systemic physiognomy is when the face presents these small asymmetries <clears throat> that can be interpreted by a therapist. So if you know these marks, you can look at somebody and know immediately who they are, what organs and systems are failing, or are being challenged, and you'll also know which emotions that they are going to, because I have a strong feeling that emotions and stress, anxiety, beside the elements of grit, the sun, too much dryness, your head, your, your face slipping out, true gravity, gravity is a bad one. <laughs> that I believe that a lot of the emotions are behind the uh, progressive problems that we have in our health. So if you look at the meridians, these Chinese meridians are basically collagen fiber, tightly bound collagen fiber carrying information, information from tissues and organs back to the brain, telling the brain exactly what's going on with the body. So when we're treating the face, we're also treating those organs and systems. And if you look at this picture, we have all of the organs and all of the systems that you'll be working on right there on your face. So your face tells a lot about what's going on with the body. So do your eyes, your ears. Go to the next one. So the Chinese, thousands of years ago, 5,000 years ago, had a printed circuit in your body. <laughs> and they knew by manipulating needles on this printed circuit that they could affect changes within the body systems. And here we can see all of the organs and systems again. So you can imagine that working on a half an hour on your face, you're going to be affected by a lot of organs and a lot of systems. So you really want to get in on the ones that are your major. Here on the ear, a fellow by the name of Nozier, had marked all of these points on the ear. 
that were representative of the whole body and was able to get a huge change in the body systems simply by needling these certain points. We have these wonderful attachments that as Tim has supplied us that we can actually work on these points individually. And again, the points on the face. So as I said, make haste. We have the technology. Do you have the time? I don't have the time. I'm good at working on what I have now. Keep all your, keep everything that you have going. Stay healthy. The technology that we, that is coming out today is like a bunch of fruit trees in an orchard. They're all coming to fruition at the same time. So there is no reason why you can't. We know, we now know that there's no reason why you can't keep the help that you have and make it a lot better. And we can reverse the aging process. We can sculpt your body. You can sculpt your body at any given time, even to change it, to give it more strength. We're even looking at arthritis and those problems. People falling, do you know that there are more people that die of broken hips than breast cancer and uterus cancer put together? Absolutely terrible. One of the things to do is more exercise. Uh, initial standard of health, there are a few doctors in the audience. Mm -hmm. and there are several people here suffering from post surgical pain. Right. So he, he was asking if he was doing some kind of talking about that. We will do that. I think what we'll do is next subject. I'll go right into this technology, where it comes from, and I'll show you some before and after shots that might be, I hope not frightening to you, but enlightening at what these devices have the capability of affecting the way we change. So then, which sound should we change it for? Born to be wild? <laughs> Yeah, that'll do. That'll work. Okay. Are you, you have another slide on? Yeah, I have one. So where does this technology come from? And why is it that all of a sudden we're able to say that no time in humankind's history has we known so much about the cause of disease? Have we known so much about how to eradicate? We are, we have never been so well educated as we are right now to be able to affect change, non invasive change. <clears throat> we, this technology, I've always told people just take a look at the technology, don't look at the device. What you do, what you see now, is only a shadow of what you've seen in 10 years. As we're studying now, what we call uh, medicine is called like channel lopathies. Because people would ask me, do you do you believe that the medical people will ever accept energy medicine officially? I say, uh, well, <coughs> they have already accepted it officially. As a matter of fact, there's a group of medical Specialists, I was with them this summer in Vancouver, Canada. Uh, 250 of them, they were the chairs of very important medical organizations, pharmaceutical companies, and universities. And they were at their eighth annual channelopathy retreat. Channelopathy, basically, if you want to 
If you want to, um, to um, uh, solve disease, you have to know how to define it. So what is the definition of disease? My definition was the incapability of the central nervous system to maintain homeostasis or balance. 